Lego doesn't make military minifigures. Luckily, I happen to make military minifigures. And one thing I wanted to go with my minifigures was an awesome M2 machine gun for your Lego minifigures. Now, Lego does make brick-built different machine guns, heavy machine guns, a lot of stuff from Star Wars, different heavy blasters and cannons but they don't make anything military. This is where I come in. I wanted to recreate my favorite all-time machine gun, the Browning M2 machine gun in Lego. Now, there was a couple other companies that have made this, but I wanted to make my version and I wanted to make it better. I wanted to make it made in the USA. This is 15 modular parts that all go together. You have different barrels, different accessories to go onto the actual M2 itself. And I also offer them in a bunch of different colors. Now, I've talked about this before. I actually really do like some of the brick-built blasters that LEGO makes, but I wanted to do something different. I wanted to go the injection molded route. This was around 2010, 2011, 2012, around that range. Me and my grandpa sat down. At the time, nobody was making the M2 machine gun. So I wanted to fill that gap. It was my favorite machine gun, you know, watching YouTube videos and then seeing it in video games. I always just loved it. And I loved the designer John Browning. I think he's come up with some great designs. So we sat down, we started drawing things out, and then we started getting some quotes from local machine shops and injection molding shops. And everyone was telling us that the mold would cost, you know, 10, 20, $30,000 to make this little Lego gun. And at the time, being like 10, 11 years old, I was like, that is insane. I cannot pay for that. And so we just kind of shelved the product. Now, moving forward in around 2019, I decided to, I wanted to finish this. I wanted to do this process and finish this project. My grandpa passed away in 2015, so I wanted to finish this story and do it right. So in 2019 and 2020, I finished the design. This, actually, I designed all of these parts myself. So all 15 parts, I sat down and I designed myself, and then I got them made, got the injection mold made, and then I've got parts in hand, and around 2020, I think, is when when I released this, maybe 2021. And so what's really cool about this is I designed everything here. And then of course, on the back of the packaging, it says designed by Peyton Dean, that's myself in memory of Larry Hansen, just a cool little tribute there. So that's kind of the backstory of this up close shots of the M2 machine gun. So this is injection molded ABS plastic made right here in Washington state. These are 15 parts that go together. So you can make different versions and configurations of the same M2. So there's an anti aircraft barrel, there's an aircraft barrel, there's a water-cooled barrel, and then there's the standard heavy barrel. So there's a couple different options there. I also offer a M2 shield, so you can add it in. You see this a lot on different Humvees and different anti-aircraft setups, and then also on Navy ships. So that's another cool thing. And I've actually been making the M2 shield for almost 10 years. And then another thing that we have is the anti-aircraft sight, another really cool piece. And a lot of these pieces, I wanted to keep very universal connection points. So pretty much all the connection points are the standard three millimeter bar piece for Lego figures. If you guys don't know what that is, that is the lightsaber piece's diameter. It's roughly three millimeters. And so you can actually take these different accessories and put them on different Lego parts. You can make cool different combos. So that's what's really nice about using the same connection points that Lego uses. The injection mold to make this M2 machine gun cost me $25,000. It's 15 machined cavities precisely to fit all together perfectly. There's moving actions on the mold. You can actually see a video clip of it running here. So roughly every 30 seconds, it pumps out 15 individual pieces that fit perfectly together with a high polish finish right here made in the USA out of ABS plastic. ABS plastic is the same plastic Lego bricks are made from. So I wanted to keep the same standards. All my molded parts on my website are made from ABS plastic. So I mentioned I make these in a bunch of different colors, the main color being black and gunmetal. I also make dark tan, tan, white, and olive drab green. And I'm planning on making some more colors in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what colors you would like to see this particular item in. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look up close at all the individual pieces. So we have started Starting from the left side or the back end, we have the butterfly grips with the trigger. This is a really cool piece. Then moving on, we have the larger receiver. So obviously this is the main workings of the actual weapon itself. And then moving on, obviously we have all the different barrel options I mentioned already. And then we have the pintle mount, which allows the gun to move up and down and then also swivel 360 degrees. And that sits on the main bipod body, I call it. And then you of course have the three bipod legs. 
I forgot to mention for the receiver, we do have the little charging handle that you can rotate, which is a cool little feature. Of course, we have the anti-aircraft sight, and then like I mentioned, the M2 shield itself. Taking a look at the packaging, what's really cool about this is I give some M2 history and some statistics on the back. So it was in service 1933 to present day, designed by my favorite designer, John Browning. There's about 3 million of these built, which is actually insane to think about. It's around 83 to 84 pounds, the overall weight. The overall length is 65 inches. The cartridge is of course 50 cal or 50 BMG. And then the rate of fire is anywhere from 450 rounds to 600 rounds a minute. And the effective range is around 800 meters. And I just think it's kind of cool to bring some of that history to the actual product itself. I myself love World War II. That's what got me into Lego was the military side of Lego. And then of course, I love mechanical things. I love machining. I love manufacturing and the mechanical function of a machine gun. It's very similar to like a typewriter. There's so many machined physical components that have to work perfectly together and it creates something cool. And so that's what I love about the M2 machine gun. Me and my grandpa set out roughly in 2012, we wanted to make something and that's what came up. And finally in I think 2020, I came out with this. So it's been a while, it took me a while, but I did a full video explaining the full design process of this M2. I'll link that below. It's kind of like a documentary. It's like two hours long, but I go in detail of why I designed it, how I designed it, all the different little things that I talk about in that video. It's very interesting. If you want to know some really deep designing stuff and go, you know, dig a little bit deeper, that's a great video for you guys to sit down and watch. So it's no secret that I absolutely love Lego. I love the minifigure. I love the system that they are created around, but I wanted to give something for the history enthusiast. I wanted to have a cool little item that can go with the minifigure. Obviously, I love minifigures. I make all of these injection molded accessories to go specifically with minifigures. That is their whole design, and that's the same with this M2. I wanted to give the minifigure something cool that Lego doesn't do and that can appeal to a different kind of audience. So that is what this M2 is about. It's also a very personal project for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other accessory that you guys want me to make in the future. Leave those down in the comments. I'm always looking through comments, looking for new ideas, and I want to do more videos talking about the history and the backstory of some of these items that I make. You know, the actual, like, the, the real human story side of it. You know, this actually has a significant story in my life to this project. It wasn't just, hey, I wanna make something and make some money and sell it. You know, there was actually some serious sit downs and some conversations behind this and some funny stories that I can share more about. And that goes with all of my products. So I'd love to share more about that, the backstory, the design. Um, thankfully, this product specifically already has, like I said, that very long two hour video explaining a lot of that, but I just wanted to rehash it with my new YouTube format. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it's not too repetitive. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. One more quick thing, I'm gonna pick the giveaway winners from last week's video and I'm going to send them these Ultimate Craftsman tools. So make sure you guys watch the full video. Sometimes I do giveaways and you can get some free stuff. If you guys want one of these M2s, link in the description as well. They're only $10 for 15 injection molded parts. And like I said, I gotta pay back that mold somehow. So everyone that buys one definitely helps out and I seriously appreciate all the support on the past YouTube videos and everyone that buys from me, check me out on Instagram, all that good stuff. Once again, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in another video next Friday.